What's up, y'all? Sparta here. I want to talk about the audio differences between LG V30, V4, V40, and G7. And I guess I'll just um, do it by chronological order, since this is how they came out. Um, okay, so all three of these have the Hi-Fi Quad DAC made by ESS. Um, but the key differences are who they're tuned by. Um, internationally, the V30 and the G7 are tuned by B&O, but in the States and stuff like that, they're tuned by LG. And at least that's what I remember hearing around those times. In, I believe all around the world, period, the V40's DAC is tuned by Meridian. And I can say this much, I can say this much, because I just recently got back, got another pair of IE800s here. And um, I can definitely say I can hear differences, like how they're tuned. And overall, the V40 is definitely the best sounding of them all. Um, I'd say the V40 is slightly more bass heavy, but not to the point where it muddies out every other sound. You can still hear minute details in the background. Stereo separation is really good when, you know, when you say you listen to songs that have voices going from like left to right and stuff like that it's kind of sound it kind of sounds like this is very typical audio jargon here but it sounds like someone is literally whispering in your ear <laughs> and it sounds like someone is talking to you rather than it just being you know simulated sound and that can be very well not simulated but you know what i'm trying to say recorded sound just played back on a phone and that can that is very well much due to the fact that the quad DAC is very good with distortion reduction and due to the fact that you know these this these pair of you know earbuds have a very low low ceiling of reduction I, I don't know how to say that i'm tired right now but their noise reduction is very good like i think it's like 10 to twenty thousand decibels or something like that where you very you don't hear noise like the only time you will is say you're listening to like an old track and there's like screeching you'll hear it then or you have like a singer or a hip hop artist that has a higher voice. You may, and their S's give that little bit of a shrill sound where you hear the S sh super sharp. <laughs> You'll hear it then. But everywhere else is totally fine, to be completely honest. I'm not trying to say that. It's bad, but when you hear it, you definitely do hear it. It's just that with newer songs and stuff like that, you can't hear it at all, really. Unless you're a professional and you've been listening to stuff your entire life and you have like a $2,000 amp and DAC and you can hear that stuff, no problem, and it bothers you, then yeah, maybe you can. But for a phone... And keep in mind, the Hi-Fi Quad DAC is probably the best you'll ever get for a phone at the moment. It beats out a lot of, like, standalone digital audio players or DAPs, DAPs. And that's something that I've heard from a lot of, like, audio heads and from a lot of people that use a lot of audio, you know, MP3 players, FLAC players, you know, digital audio players like i said <laughs> um so 
what would I say is the best one out of the pack? Well, I obviously just said it. It would go from V40, G7, V30. But the G7 and V30 are like neck and neck. There's really no true defining difference between the two. So you can't go wrong with either or. If you want to use them as like an, a music player or something like that. I'd say the V30 would probably be the better bet because of the fact that um, it has a slightly bigger battery. <laughs> all three of these you can put um. All three of these you can put SD cards in, so you want to up to two terabytes. So if you want to put a 500 gigabyte SD, there's not a four a 500 gigabyte one, a 400 gigabyte SD card in here, and go to town on a lot of music you can definitely do that but if you don't there's 64 gigs of internal storage on here you could use wi-fi and download all your favorite songs from either spotify if you can do that on spotify i don't know google play music youtube music all that stuff and you'll be totally fine just be sure to go through your settings and set the download settings and music playback settings on high <laughs> that's what I would say that way you don't get as much compression as it would if you were to just download the app right now and download the app right now and play music but yeah that's pretty much it as far as this video goes I just wanted to make a quick update about this because a lot of people I guess <laughs> put stock in you know their headphone jack and i'd say that not only is basically every lg phone the best option for that right now especially if you want a something that doubles as a phone if you need a backup phone and a media player plus a lot of like these digital audio players run off like some super jank version of android if you get any of these <laughs> you could just update it to its latest firmware if it has it and just go to town on putting music on there and have a smooth experience. Download whatever, you know, music player you want to use, whether, you know, like I said, Google Play Music or like any like local music player. Google Play Music also can be used as a local music player, but LG's stock music app is totally serviceable. I would use power amp if you want to have like granular control over stuff. But yeah, this is for this it as far as this video goes, though. This is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. Whatever time of day it is in your area, have a good one. Sorry, I'm super tired right now. I need to go to sleep. Um, like this video if you like it, dislike it. If you dislike it, share with people that are interested in this sort of content. And again, I really do appreciate the support. Thanks for 608 subscribers and yet again, have a good one.